Welcome back to Fighters and Beyond. But before we start, a big thank you. We almost reached 300 subscribers. Your support means a lot. It keeps us motivated to bring you high quality medical education. Today's video will be about pneumonia. One of the most common and important respiratory infections every nurse and doctor should understand. Pneumonia is an infection of the lung parenchyma, leading to inflammation and consolidation of the alveoli. It can be caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, or aspiration. The most common culprit, Streptococcus pneumonia. But depending on the setting, other pathogens may be involved. For example, MRSA or Pseudomonas in hospital acquired cases. In a normal lung, the alveoli are filled with air. In pneumonia, pathogens trigger an inflammatory response. Neutrophils and cytokines flood the alveoli, leading to fluid and pus accumulation. This impairs gas exchange, causing hypoxemia and respiratory symptoms. Risk factors include advanced age, smoking, chronic lung diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, immunosuppression, recent hospitalization, and mechanical ventilation. Patients will often present with cough, fever, pleuritic chest pain, and shortness of breath. Classic findings include productive cough with purulent sputum and fever. On examination, you might detect tachypnea, decreased breathing sounds, prickles, or dullness to percussion. Diagnosis starts with a good history and physical exam. Chest X-ray is crucial. It typically shows consolidation or infiltrates. Blood tests may reveal leukocytosis, while cultures of sputum or blood can help identify the pathogen. In severe cases, arterial blood gases may show hypoxemia. We do classify pneumonia into three main categories. Community acquired pneumonia. It's the most common. Hospital acquired pneumonia, which occurs after 48 hours of hospitalization and ventilator associated pneumonia. A serious infection in intubated patients. Treatment will depend on the severity and suspected pathogens. For most community acquired cases, empiric antibiotics are used. Supportive therapy includes oxygen for hypoxemia, IV fluids for dehydration, and antipyretics for fever. Hospital-acquired cases often require broader coverage, sometimes including vancomycin. Complications can include pleural effusion, lung abscess, sepsis, and respiratory failure. And that's why timely recognition and treatment are kinda essential. Prevention plays a huge role. Vaccination against pneumococcus and influenza is highly recommended, especially for vulnerable groups. Good hand hygiene and smoking cessation also reduce risk. Pneumonia is a common yet serious condition, but with the right knowledge and timely treatment, outcomes can improve significantly. Thank you again for helping us reaching 300 subscribers. We couldn't do this without you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more medical education here at Vitals and Beyond.